hey guys gary here and welcome back to my channel and today we're starting season five of buffy the vampire slayer if you cannot tell by my smile i'm very excited for this i've heard it's a lot of people's favorite season as well which gets me even more hyped for it i'm praying that it's going to be amazing i'm sure that it will be i have my buffy t-shirt on at the ready courtesy of ian thank you so much ian for sending me this in my pure box god love you and it's spooky season so you know if it felt fitting and yeah let's just roll the intro grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into it here we go is she aging in reverse why does she look younger now she's still with ryla what can you what do you do when you can't sleep you go on patrol. Chase some demonic beings. Right round the neck. That looked good. It looked good. And Riley will never know. <laughs> and now she can sleep. Now she's got that out of her system. Oh, I've missed this. I haven't seen Buffy for a few days. It's been weeks. I've missed it. <laughs> Did they have to put those guys in it? Here we go. Didn't the last one start with her on the beach? Well, she's happy, you know. I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he kind of asked for it. I'm exhausted just looking at those two. Shouldn't relaxing involve less exertion? Exertion can lead to sweatiness. Oh, which can cause the um, pain and heartbreak of stinkiness. I think we've just put our finger on why we're the sidekicks. <laughs> The uh, fire's not cooperating. Ignis and Sente. Let's go, Willow. You just have to balance the elements so when you affect one, you don't wind up causing. I didn't Whoops. do it! I didn't do it! <laughs> I guess you'll have to buy some burgers instead, guys. Look at this. Guys carting dirt around. Leave it. Man, rich people are. <laughs> What bit might this be? Well, it's essential that we begin to archive the library. I mean, most of these texts have no duplicates. Doesn't winter seem more like archiving season? And you'll just have to get a life. <clears throat> That's what I'm trying to do, actually. So, um, get a life. Oh, Giles, I hope you're okay. You mustn't repeat what I'm about to say, especially not to Buffy. Uh oh. Yeah, uh oh, indeed. See, I'm, I'm going back to England. Is this some kind of sick joke? But you can't. You're Buffy's watcher. Tell me this isn't going to actually go through. And... Buffy doesn't need me anymore. Well, I don't say that in a self-pitying way. I'm, I'm quite proud, actually. But what about the rest of us? We still need to be watched. No, you'll be fine. No, you all will. No. I won't be fine. You can always, always call me whenever you like. I can't call you, Giles. I know she'll understand. You know, I'm gonna have to get used to this place without you again. It gets so quiet. You know, maybe we should make a regular date of this when school starts. Duty calls. It's a total drag. Total drag, but she loves it. So. Whoa, let's go. We likey. Very impressive, huh? That was no hunt. That was just another day on the job. Oh, she looks great. I'm loving the hair and the makeup. We're not going to fight. Do you know what a slayer is? Do you? Who are you? I'm Dracula. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get out of town. You know who I am, as I would know without question that you are Buffy Summers. You've heard of me. You are known throughout the world. He's a very tall man. Vamp. Yeah. I came to meet the renowned... 
Why is he handsome now? Yeah, I prefer the term slayer. I'm the good guy, remember? Perhaps, but your power is rooted in darkness. He's giving me Witcher vibes and I'm into it. You know what I feel? Hungry? Bored. Oh. <laughs> that must just be me. Okay, that's cheating. You look like you just get out of here now. Hi. <laughs> Hi. And where'd you get that accent? Sesame Street? I'm pretty sure that's Dracula. Wow, really? Just joking around. <laughs> I will see you soon. <laughs> Sick. Look out, and then freaking Dracula is standing right behind us, and he lunges at us like whoosh. I told you he'd heard of me, right? He made it sound so sexy. I bet he made it sound sexy. Dark, penetrating eyes. Oh, not just me then. I'm glad I'm not alone. Dracula was sexy. No, he he was yuck. Yucky. Ugh. Oh, we hung out a few times. It's pretty cool. But I'm sorry I missed that. And the whole time I was thinking, gosh, I wish Giles were here. He'd know what to do. No killing until we know exactly what we're dealing with. You're not just saying that because of those dark, penetrating eyes of his. Not jealous, are you, Viola? There, were, there was no penetration. Cross my heart. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. With donuts. Hmm. Heaven. There is just no chemistry there, is there? I mean, they're cute and all, but no heat. Perfect. You're not so big. One round of old-fashioned fisticuffs, I bet you'd fold like a booty baby. Come on, puffy shirt. Pucker on up, because you can kiss your pale last Silence. good. Yes, master. You will be my emissary. My eyes and ears in daylight. I will make you an immortal. Ex squeeze me. I will serve you your excellent spookiness. Or a master, I'll just stick with master. You are strange and off-putting. <laughs> <laughs> You're a bit weird. And it's off putting, so bye bye. <laughs> Guy's a genius. <laughs> so he's all smitten with him now. Compelled. What the hell are you doing here? Why would he come here? What can you tell me about Dracula? <laughs> Fancy bugger owes me 11 pounds for one thing. We're old rivals. But he's not just a regular vampire. He has special powers, right? Nothing but showy gypsy stuff. He's in town. I guess the old boy needed closure after all. Actually, he's gunning for Buffy. But I'm out to find him before he gets another shot at her. Tough talk, cowboy. Funny that he called him cowboy. Has to have his luxury estate and his bug eaters and his special dirt, doesn't he? You're out of your depth on this one, boy. So she has a problem with killing you now that you're helpless. I don't. I'd like to see you try. Would you? You're never gonna find him. That must be so frustrating for Spike because not before he gets to her. He could have took Riley, no doubt about it, and because this chip is helpless. You are a magnificent kindred. Hardly. Pull your hair back. Why is she just doing it? She. This isn't how I. Usually She's compelling her as well. I have yearned for. Whose darkness rivals my own. You have been tasted. He let you go. What is happening right now? Do not fight. I can feel your hunger. He bites her? What in the actual F? It was just a dream. Was it one of your special dreams, Buffer? Or is there going to be blood everywhere in a minute? No, it happened. Okay, okay. It's a jelly one. You want it? Got it. Got it. Mine. Mine. Ew. Does he have to touch it? He just licks his fingers and then picked up another donut. At least it was his own. Jack isn't the Lalo type. Well, we can uh, check out the nicer places. What else did you guys get? Uh, well, Lalo has most of it, actually. 
Are you going to tell people you had a wild night with a vampire last night? He will kill just to feed, but he'd rather have a connection with his victims. He, he can read and control minds and appear in dreams. That stare, he just kind of looked right through you. Didn't you feel it, Buffy? Oh, she felt something all right. No. No, I didn't. Liar. The end result is the same. He turns him into a vampire. Dracula's gifting these ladies with his own blood. Ugh. He tends to form a relationship with his prey. It's not enough for him to take her. Take off that scarf. No. You're under the thrall of the Dark Prince. Uh, let go of me. This is ridiculous. Um, about that. <laughs> I had a fall on two sharp spikes. Not at all related to Dracula. I'm not sure why I tried to hide it. You're saying Dracula has some sort of freaky mind control over her? I shouldn't take this personally. Well, with Angel, I mean, it's understandable that there would be transference. I mean, they're both fruity immortals. I am not transferring. I'm your girl, and I'm gonna stay that way. Do a protection spell at that Buffy's house and prevent him from returning. How'd he get inside anyway? He seems so nice and normal. <laughs> A good Sunnydale rule of thumb? Avoid white-skinned men in capes. I'm not like this. I don't invite strange men over for coffee. Sometimes you just feel like giving up on men altogether. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this show is just brilliant, isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> the look that they give each other then, like... <laughs> I relate. What? 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 Hey! I'm supposed to deliver you to the master now. Take me to him. Oh my Jesus. What is happening? <laughs> I like that they're kind of matchy. I knew you'd come. Why? Because I'm under your thrall? Well, guess again, pal. Put the stake down. Okay. <laughs> I did that because I wanted to. Sure you did. Maybe I should rethink that thrall thing. Mm. <laughs> Last night, it's not gonna happen again. Steak? Uh, any minute now. <laughs> any minute now. We are alone. Always alone. A little taste. I won't let you. I didn't mean for me. Nobody harms my master. Your master? You want him? You come through me. Jesus, Ryla. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. I don't know, his nose didn't just burst then. Oh, Giles, please be safe. Oh, right, I wasn't too far. I thought he was just going to fall to his death then. She didn't get knocked out for a change. He does forever get knocked out, to be fair. Three sisters, yes? Ooh. Oh, hello. That's, uh, that's uh, tickled. Oh, tickled. <laughs> oh my god, she was going for it then. And you've never once wanted to know what it is that we fight for. She's not gonna. Never even a taste. I'm gonna do that, right? If I drink that. I have not drunk enough for you to change. You must be near death to become one of us. Oh, okay. You think you know what you are, what's to come. You haven't even begun. Don't you do it. Oh, she's doing it. She's doing it. Find your true nature. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> Come to me. You know, I really think the thrall has gone out of our relationship. But I want to thank you for opening up my eyes a little. Well, she saw the the first Slayer. Giles! Giles! Come on! You've just ruined a really good time for him there. <laughs> Possibly escape. He's like, oh dear, I can't get out. Never mind, I'll just stay here. <laughs> Go on without me. My shoe. Silly me, I'll just pop. No, no, no. <laughs> <sighs> A guy like 
You should think about going electric. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Now. Off he kills Dracula himself. Where's the creep that turned me into a spider eating man bitch? <laughs> spider eating. <laughs> no. You think I don't watch your movies? You always come back. <laughs> I'm standing right here. Oh, so he isn't slain. You wanted to see me? This is going to be the breakup now, isn't it? Call my right little cookie treatment. Because he's leaving, yeah. Actually, I have something that I'd like to talk to you about, too. You haven't been my watcher for a while. I haven't been training, and I haven't really needed to come to you for help. I agree. I've been going out a lot. Patrolling. Hunting. That's what Dracula called it. And he was right. He understood my power better than I do. He saw darkness in it. I need to know more about where I come from, about the other slayers. And I can't do it without you. I need you to be my watcher again. God, if he doesn't say yes, I swear to God. I'm sorry, you, you had something you wanted to say. No. Does that mean he's staying, guys? Does that mean he's staying? What are you doing here? Buffy? If you're going out, why don't you take your sister? Excuse me? Mom! What? Buffy's got a sister. And what? We've just not seen her all this time? Or heard from her? What the hell's happened? She's got a sister. This doesn't make it any sense. Something with Dracula has what? Changed all of this? Have they mentioned a sister before and I'm an idiot? I'm gonna have to watch another episode and I'm sure all will become clear, but like, what? <laughs> and she was just there. And they were like, Mom! Like, they were used to doing that. Do you know what I mean? Something weird's going on, guys. Something very, very strange. Okay, well, as far as first episodes go, like, it was decent. I, I love the comedy. Like, nailed it every time. I like that we get to see, you know, those character... Uh, those characters back again on screen and the relationships they have with each other and... You know, the way that they converse and stuff, all loved it. But for me, it was that scene at the end there with Giles and Buffett, and then obviously the sister twist that really made it more of a premiere episode because everything else was just your typical standard Buffy things. Uh, and I think with first episodes, it's really got to grab you. And I think that they did that by adding those touches at the end there as well. Uh, I did like the whole Dracula thing. Uh, and I liked the comedy that came with the whole Dracula thing. Well, yeah, it was very like Monster of the Week here. But the scene with Giles at the very beginning where he said he wanted to go, I felt an ache in my chest. I just, I wasn't for it. I didn't want that to happen. Thank God that Buffy has said, look, I need you now. I, I need to know what a slayer really means. If I can control my strength, you know, I want to be prepared. The relief, the love, the admiration, the, the sigh of relief was just perfect. I just think Giles is the softest little being. And yeah, I love that scene so much. I genuinely loved it. Uh, so Riley's still around, Him and Ri her and Riley are still going strong or whatever. I do stand by the, the lack of chemistry between the two of them. Uh, I do think Riley's a lovely guy and I don't hate him in any way. It's just, I just don't ship it, you know? I just don't ship it. There's not that spark there. I felt like there was more chemistry between Dracula and Buffy than there was between Riley and Buffy, to be fair. 
obviously just my opinion guys if you know you're a hardcore riley and buffy shipper please don't take offense to that it's solely my opinion ship and let ship you guys do you loved the tara joyce and willow scene in joyce's house <laughs> i just loved it so much like the it is very comedic this show the delivery they nail every time as well um obviously as time's gone on some things probably don't um land like they did back then uh but i am obsessed with these characters i'm obsessed with them i love this show i really want to watch another but it's like 10 past six now and i i have responsibilities i've got to be an adult so i am gonna have to leave it there but yes for season five starting up and i'm ready i think <laughs> i think i'm ready <laughs> to explore more of this show thank you so much for watching my reaction guys it really does mean the world to me give a cheeky thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to but as always there's no pressure here if you would like to become a member and join the dat pack please do so i have a patreon and members now on youtube as well so check that out and i hope to see you all again soon for another video thanks for watching guys bye and now it's time for a comment from the Dat Pack and today I've chosen the lovely Paul C who says Hey Dat, I've been waiting for this reaction as it's one of my favourite episodes and I'm glad you were into it. This is my finale reaction to Buffy by the way guys. It's an unconventional end to the season but it works and I think in part that's because for me at least the Adam storyline was a bit underwhelming but it's nice to have all that stuff wrapped up and to finish with a deep dive into our main characters. Looking forward to your thoughts on the season as a whole before we get stuck into season five. I hope you enjoyed my end of season four discussion video, Paul. I genuinely do. And this, you know, premiere for season five as well. Uh, I agree, though, that Adam thing was completely underwhelming, like you say. And if it wasn't for the love that we have for the characters and the routes that they were going down, like separately as well, it wouldn't have landed as well as it did season four. And I stand by the fact that uh, season four has some of the best episodes in it. It really does. Like so many episodes to uh, be memorable and to, to hold on to. It's just the arc of Adam didn't land like it probably was meant to, you know? And I think they'll probably look at that and correct it in season five hence why i'm even more excited to watch this season and hearing you guys say it's your favorite it just gets me so excited <laughs> but yeah thank you paul for leaving your lovely comment if you would like to leave your thoughts please do so and maybe one of your comments will appear in my videos thank you so much for watching guys and i hope to see you for the next one Bye bye